Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for joining me today. So we are on day six of the 12 days of Christmas with me for our Christmas crafting. And today our inspiration is going to be Anna Griffin. We are going to be working with the slider dies. So we'll go ahead and get started. So this is a quick and easy card. So you pretty much have two main dies that you need. So this one is your actual card. And then you need this one here, which is like your slider, the large one here, it looks like a tag. So you're gonna take those two and you are going to cut those out. I have pre-done mine and I'm using Christmas pattern paper. So this is some little holly paper. So I know you can't see my score lines, but when you cut yours out, you're gonna have a score line and you're going to fold it down the center. So you'll just follow your score line. Okay, so one there, and then you're gonna have one here in the middle. So you're gonna fold that like a mountain fold. And then you're gonna have one more score line at the bottom. And this is what's gonna help it go like this, okay? So you're just gonna fold that one. Fold that one, okay? So there we go. So now it should be like this. So then now what you're gonna do, you're gonna open it up and we are going to need some adhesive. Um, you can use glue, um, score tape or tear tape or tape runner. Um, I will say use that. So you're gonna need to put it in three places. So you're gonna need to put it here and I'm using this um, it's called double-sided tape, but like a tear tape from Dollar Tree. And you're going to put that in three areas. So here, the three, um, three sides, and then here. Do not put any at the top. Because that is where our slider is going to go. Okay. And then... You're also going to need some tape. You're also going to need some right here, okay? So this tape is a little, it's a little wider. So I have some smaller tape and I'm gonna use that here, okay? So let me just put that there and then I'm gonna tear that off. So, so you need to pull off the tape off of each everywhere you put it release pull the release tape and then now what you're going to do is take your slider and we are going to but before I do that I want to actually place a sentiment so I'm going to glue this down okay you don't have to do this but I'm going to put a little sentiment here so I'm not going to completely close it I just want to make sure that it's lined up So I'm just placing a glue my sentiment down and then now I'm going to take my tag and I'm going to place that like right here you want to line that up to this area here and then we're going to press close this close it like that and then secure it Okay, so secure everything, press down your tape, and then you want to test it. There we go. Oh, mine says, let me fix this. You want to make sure that this is connected to, connected onto the end. So I'm going to pull this up a little and just connect it make sure it's connected right to the end of your tag okay and that's a quick fix so then now we should be good and then you want to play with it a little to loosen it up okay and then what you want to do is place if you have a ribbon you can place a little ribbon so i have a little one here a gold one so i'm going to take this and I'm going to tie this and you can use little charms or whatever you have yarn 
and I'm trying to see, did I cut this too short? Well, I think I'm gonna just tie it like this. Or no, actually, I think I'm just gonna glue the ends together. That's normally what I do. So I'm gonna put some adhesive and glue my ends together. And then we're gonna decorate this part right here. So in your, I'm gonna make sure this is, you gotta play with it. There we go, and loosen it up. There we go. So it's stiff in the beginning, but it'll loosen up. So then now in your die set, you're gonna have different decorative pieces. So I'm gonna be using this one here. And I am going to, I already cut it out. So I am going to be filling that with some flowers. So here's my little cat pot here. I don't know which one is a cash pill, but maybe they both are. Okay, so then I have my little flowers here. And what you're gonna do is kind of like make a bouquet of flowers. So you just like make your bouquet and like glue them together. So I'm gonna do that. And you can use glue or tape. So I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive like right here to get this to stick. And then I'm gonna put like this on the side. I'm gonna wait on that one. I'm gonna put this like that and then this like that. Okay, so you put some adhesive here. So you just kind of create your bouquet. And these botanicals came from Anna Griffin has a kit like this, a card kit um, with these botanicals in it that you can purchase. Okay, and then I'm just going to add my little foliage. So I'm gonna add this like little pine let me add it to my little pot first. So then you'll take your little pot and then you'll place this over top. And you can do that with foam tape, but I'm not because I'm gonna put foam tape on my, um, I'm gonna put foam tape on when I actually adhere this to this, okay? So then now I'm just gonna place these. So like just little accent pieces. I'm just gonna like place that. So I'm just placing my foam tape on the back of my little pot. And then we are going to adhere this to this area here. So we're just gonna adhere it. And we have a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Mine's a little crooked. Let me straighten that up. Okay, very cute. And then I have this here, this little season's greetings. I'm just gonna like put that there, like a little flag. And then I have some jewels that I wanna put on the side. So I'm just using some little stones and I'm just gonna place those. We always need some kind of sparkle to our card or bling. And I have another card I'm going to show you. And remember, you can use these dies. Well, they are for like every day, but I wanted to do Christmas. So let me show you the other card that I made as well. Okay, there we go. And our pretty little card, I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. So here's the other one that I made, because I wanna show you that this is, you don't have to just use it for flowers. So what I did is I made the card as normal, and if you pull it up, you can see it's the same thing. Instead of putting the little pot, I just took like a card, of, um, a small card and made my little scene with a tree and there you go so you know 
there it is and I stamped the sentiment instead of um, instead of putting one like I did on the other one I just stamped it so yep you can place anything on here that can fit you can put a picture um, whatever you have so that's that one and this is made using Anna Griffin's Christmas tree dies and then we have this one here that we just made okay so I'm gonna lay it flat for you to see and pull it out and there it is so I hope you guys are inspired um, you can get this kit at anagriffin.com the set of dies so thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me on day six of the 12 days of Christmas and I look forward to seeing you on day seven's episode thank you so much for watching guys love you bye